Good morning, I'm Dr. Ben Newman, and I'm a coronavirologist, and I am going to try to answer your questions with science. The next question is from Joy, and uh, good morning. All right, Joy says, hello, I just wanted to know if we're still wiping down groceries or if we figured out it isn't being transmitted in this way. It's not being transmitted in this way, and I've never wiped down groceries. But at the same time, that's the sort of thing that... Um, it's like a security blanket. I don't care if you have a security blanket. If it makes you feel secure, oh my gosh, just have it. It's fine. It doesn't it doesn't hurt anything. It doesn't do anything either, <laughs> but it doesn't hurt anything. Uh, that's what I'd say. Um, should we continue any precautions for mail and delivered packages? I wouldn't. Um, so what we're talking about here are called fomites, F-O-M-I-T-E. And that means virus on a surface. And that's a thing that is easy to measure because if there's virus on a surface, you can go in a day later, several hours later, whatever, a week later, and you can swab it, you can run a Q-tip along, and then the tests that we would do to detect the virus are looking for a little tiny fragments of the virus. So even if the virus is kind of broken up, but some of the pieces are still there, then you can still get a positive and you can say, yes, there was virus here. That's an easy test to do, but it turns out it's not a very useful test because we still don't have any evidence of a single case where somebody was definitely infected from a surface. So we know that there have been several cases where virus was discovered on meat, for example. Um, frozen salmon over in China, and they went around swabbing all kinds of things after that. It, we think it was probably from whoever was like packing the salmon in the box because yeah frozen salmon do not wrap themselves up uh, for delivery <laughs> um, and uh, I believe there was also uh, COVID found after some of the meat packing plants were just heavily heavily infected um, which is another horrible thing but uh, there isn't good evidence that any of that ever caused any infections um, so we think all the infections are coming in through the air and it's probably little droplets that are suspended in the air being breathed right in and they would have to go in through the mouth or the nose. That's pretty much it. There doesn't seem to be any other real way for the virus to get in and do anything. So yeah, basically um, um, it's a thing that seemed like a long shot but it seemed like it could help a little bit at the time and now it's a thing that if it makes you happy do it but uh, there isn't any good evidence to suggest it would really help the test everybody wants to be able to do is to see how much virus is hanging in the air because we think that's the stuff that actually gets you and that's the stuff that's really hard to measure because i don't know pick up a q-tip wave it around your head like a lasso and did you get the virus? Did you push the virus away? Did you get enough virus on your Q-tip? If it settles down, it's much easier to uh, scoop up in uh, whatever volume it's present in. But uh, yeah, dispersed through the air, that's a toughie. And we don't have a good way to do that. You could imagine, um, I've seen setups where people try to sort of vacuum onto basically um, biological fly paper that will catch any viruses that are there and then they can try to uh, harvest them from that. And even that, uh, I've, the study I'm thinking of, they had one of those in the room with a, um, a person infected with coronavirus. I believe it was Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, and I think I saw the same setup with SARS-CoV-2. And it was either barely detectable or not detectable. You would think they were not in a room with this. But on surfaces, they found lots of the virus. It's just because we're not very good at sampling the air, and we are good at sampling surfaces. So, yeah. Do it if it makes you happy, but uh, it's it's not me making you do it for sure. <laughs> That's what I'd say about that. Thanks very much. This has been Ask Dr. Ben.